Hi everyone, so in this video I'm doing kind of like a simple illustration of a cat. I just wanted to use this paper a little bit more. This is some paper I recently got. It's called Mixed Media Paper by Strathmore. I just picked it up from Michaels in like a big pack of 40 sheets and so far I really like the paper. It works It works really well with um, dry media like, like pencil crayons and um, pencils and also works really well with ink. But um, the first time I tested this paper, I um, used it with watercolor and I was under the impression that it was, oh, this is really nice for watercolor too, but it actually buckles quite a bit and it's hard to get an even layer of watercolor on the paper, so it's a lot better for smaller areas of watercolor if you plan on using um, this paper. Also, um, the watercolor I use is a fairly cheap brand, so that could also be the reason as well, but it does, it does okay, like maybe 6 out of 10 7 out of 10 watercolor, that's how I'd rate the paper, it's about, th that's how good I'd say it is for watercolor. But for everything else, it's it's pretty good, like Copics, um, I haven't done any like actual intense blending with Copics on this paper, but I mostly use the Copics as kind of like a, a base color or for small details, so it seems like all the wet medium that I tried to use on this paper, I did in very small areas, and usually that's a lot easier to control than larger areas. So for this drawing, I wanted it to have a really soft feel to it, so I used a Prismacolor Color Erased Pencil to outline it, and I used a color called Terracotta. These are some of my newest art supplies that I um, got over the last week. I've been wanting more of these. I've I had the soft blue one. I don't know if it's actually called soft blue, but I've had the light blue one and the um, the carmine red, but I didn't really like the tone of the carmine red, and I heard that the scarlet red was slightly more orange than the carmine red, so I got the scarlet red as, as well as a bunch of other colors, and I really like these for sketching and for coloring because you can actually, they don't erase that well, but they erase a lot better than regular pencil crayons, which is why they're really good for um, sketching and just they're really good for outlining things because if you do um, make a mistake when you're outlining you can erase it to a certain extent and if it's small enough you can correct the mistake without having to go over it to make it thicker to cover the mistake or starting over completely so it's really good for outlining things if you want a softer look or just outlining things in in color and for the watercolor I'm using my Pentel Aqua Wash it's like a it's a it's a type of water brush made by Pentel and you can fill the back of it with water and use that to pick up your watercolor instead of dipping it in a jar. Now the one thing about this, when I did the first layer on the cat, I made the head way too dark and there are these two weird light splotches on the forehead of the cat and I have no idea what happened there. Maybe my finger touched it by accident or Maybe that paper had some kind of waxiness on it that I didn't know about. It's just weird. I don't know what happened there, but I tried to cover it up near the end, and I think it covered up okay, but my first um, thought for this was to do a wash all in brown because I saw, you probably know, uh, Bailey J. She recently, she recently did an illustration where she did a wash of a single color, and basically when you go over top of that wash with your other colors, it kind of mutes those colors and it pulls everything together. So I really wanted to try doing the that kind of technique because I've never tried that before and her video just kind of inspired me to try that. But I don't think I did it that well because I did the green leaves too dark at first. So they're a lot darker than I wanted them to be on the left side. But in the middle, that's kind of the color I was going for. But um, again uh, on either side I did the green way too dark so that it covered the brown completely rather than in the middle where you can see the brown and the green kind of mixed together that's what I was going for so after I finished coloring everything um, I thought everything needed more contrast so I took a violet um, co uh, Prismacolor color erase pencil crayon to go around the cat and actually no it was just around the cat because whenever I'm coloring something brown I like to shade it sometimes with a purpley tone and especially in digital art that looks really nice as well when you shade brown with a more purpley tone so I wanted to see if that would work with the Prismacolor with the pencil crayon and it did to a certain extent but then I also went over that with a like 
a, a light brown micron multiliner. I've been doing a lot of like mixed media stuff. I've been just like using whatever comes to mind to get the effect that I want. So I can't really call this a purely a watercolor drawing because it's very much a lot of other medium all combined together. So it's kind of a mixed media, but mostly watercolor. So here you see me adding some more outlines with um, a lot more vibrant and dark of a color than the pencil crayon that I use since it's ink it shows up a lot better and it just added that contrast that it needed I think and I think that um, I wanted it to be softer than this initially but I did I just didn't really color it the way I envisioned it I made the colors way too dark for the line art so I had to make the line art darker to compensate for that and I was trying to fix the splotches on his head by going over with some white pastel just to smooth everything out there's not too much shading on the body of the cat, but I just did some nice light shading. There's not really anything behind this drawing. I just wanted to draw something cute, and I just really felt like drawing a cat, even though I'm not good at drawing cats. I'm not good at drawing cat faces or anything. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I did some little sparkles as a little added touch at the end. I had a lot of fun making this little illustration, so I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.